G'day folks, this is just a quick one. Uh, okay, what you see on the screen is a video I've done, Salvation by Grace Works or Grace and Works. This is a video on the Gospel of Christ, alright? I'd appreciate it if on videos that are to do with the Bible or the Gospel, you don't put comments pertaining to legal matters, alright? I'm going to start blocking people who do it. Um, in particular, mate, investigate as you see here on your screen. I think we've had this out before. I might have, maybe I've confused you with someone else, but I'm pretty sure it was you that I told you I'm going to have, to, we had a long back and forth on a gospel message video about legal issues. And I said, I'm going to have to delete this because it's, it's clogging it up. So I, th I think it is, I think you're a repeat offender, mate. And if you do it a third time, I'm just going to block your um, account. If you've got a legal question, put it on a legal video. Okay? Do not put it, this is, your, this is going to have to be the last warning, because I don't want people who are looking for questions and issues relating to the gospel coming across all this legal information and getting confused by what the heck is this. Okay, I can't be clearer. So this is your last warning. And that, in fact, this is the first and last warning for everyone. If you put a legal question on a gospel video, I'm going to have to delete your comment, and if it keeps happening, I'll block you from making comments, okay? It's not that hard an ask, is it? I don't think so. All right, anyway, Investigate says, interesting video by Be Free with D. Um, okay, the link, you get this. This is, and this is, as you can see, this is 10 odd minutes in to the video. Um, it's about a legal case. I'm not gonna go into a great deal a lot of detail. I'm just going to refer you to what you see on the screen, which is under Canon Law Section 2057. All right, this Canon Law stuff that people quote drives me bonkers. Now, if someone proves me wrong, great. I'm always, if, I'm, if someone comes forward with evidence and says, hey, you were wrong, I'll be the first to admit it, all right? But until then, I'm going to hold to what I know, all right, or what I've discovered. And it's pretty hard for me to prove a negative, all right? All I can say is I've looked into this Canon Law years ago, as far as I can tell, it was made up by a guy named Franco Collins. All right? And I'm just going to ex expose to you why I don't believe this is any sort of law, any, any sort of authority of law in any of the jurisdictions you want to be acting in. So uh, Franco Collins, or whoever invented this canon law nonsense, um, can say it's law because he can bind anyone to it who agrees to be bound by it. But you have to agree to be bound by it. You can't just invent a law and bind strangers to it without their knowledge. Anyway, which is where we get back to the legal name. That's how they know you've agreed to be bound by their laws. You present the name that identifies you as having agreed to be bound by their laws. Just that simple. Anyway, let's have a look at this. So if you type in, and this is what I talk about the research, you see someone put this under Canon Law Section 2057. Let's just read it. Executor that refuses to immediately dissolve a SETI-K trust upon... Um, a person establishing their status and competency is guilty of fraud and fundamental breach of their fiduciary duties, requiring their, spelt incorrectly, immediate removal and punishment. Okay. Uh, what punishment? You ever seen a law that doesn't specify what the punishment's going to be? This one doesn't. So if you type in Canon Laws S2057, this is one of the things you come up with. Uh, so this is dawnkelly.com.au. I have no idea who Dawn Kelly is. Um, anyway, um, just to ask you, does that look like a, a legal resource web page? Not to me. Let's just look at the first one here, Canon 2045. Um, by 1815 and the bankruptcy of the Crown and Bank of England by the Rothschilds, for the first time the Sister KV Trust of the United Kingdom became assets placed in private banks effectively becoming private trusts or fide commissary trusts administered by commissioners, guardians. From 1835 and the Wills Act, these private trusts have been, have been also considered secret trusts whose existence does not need to be divulged. All right. Is that a law? Laws establish rules. What rule has been established there? None. This is like a, a, an interpretation of historical events. This is a narrative. This isn't a law. Canon 2045 is not a law. 
What what law what rule has been established there? Nothing. Let's go down quickly. Uh, Canon two zero four seven here. I'll highlight this one just to that. We'll just read the first bit. In 1931, the Roman cult, also known as the Vatican, created the Bank for International Settlements. Common sense question, does anyone truly believe that there's any law that would have applicability in any nation state on the earth that would refer to the Vatican or allow the Vatican to be referred to as the Roman cult? When I'm not arguing whether that's an accurate or inaccurate or appropriate um, reference, I'm saying no law is going to refer to the Vatican as the Roman cult. It's just not going to happen. And no nation state will recognise a law that does so. They'd insist that be a change in the first instance uh, in order to, you know, uh, not offend, if nothing else. It's just not language used in laws. What's the bottom line here? Unless someone can show me that this is, um, like, is this law? You, you can call anything law. Um, when you walk into um, a store that has terms and conditions, that is the law of the store. But what's its jurisdiction? Well, the store. Isn't it? Its jurisdiction is within the store only. As soon as you step out of the store, whatever rules they had for you entering, like, you know how that sign up, um, we can search your bags of anyone who comes in here? Can they search your bags if you're walking past on the street? No, because they don't have any jurisdiction of anyone walking past on the street. So you can call this law if you want to. What my question is, is what's its jurisdiction? And my answer is nowhere. Nowhere recognises this law as having jurisdiction over them. Australia doesn't. The United States doesn't. No country in the world recognises any of this as having jurisdiction. And 90% of what's written here is not law. It's narrative. It may be accurate in part, it may be accurate in whole, or it might be completely fabricated and inaccurate. I don't know. I haven't really looked into it. All I can tell you is that um, it's not law that has any jurisdiction in any court in any of the, in Australia where that video comes from or anywhere else. So, I mean, if someone wants to prove me wrong on that, go ahead. And some people think this is um, Vatican law. Um, the Vatican do have um, laws for dealing with internal issues. And they are called canons, but they don't go any higher than about 1700. So they don't have a canon 2057, or even 2000, or even, uh, I would suggest 1900. But I haven't spent a lot of time on this because I look at this and I go, that's not law. Not law that has any, any jurisdiction that I'd be interested in knowing about. You can call it law if you want to. It has no bearing or relevance in any of the courts anywhere in this, on this earth that you're going to be likely to walk into. So this is what I mean by research. If someone quotes something like this, why the heck haven't you looked it up? And look what it says. Look at the things it says and ask yourself, would, would any law really say this? Any law that's going to have jurisdiction in any way that matters? Anyway, I'll leave it there. See you, folks.